Hey guys, Omar here for another video, and today we're trying something new. I have my super best friend from fourth grade, Mo Morales. I don't know him, <laughs> but here we are anyway. Anyway, we're gonna try to do this, trying to do something new. Uh, I always record a load. We totally made shift this whole studio. We just brought lights in. We're in a new location too. We're actually filming in my studio uh, and it's very echoey. So just bear with us. This is kind of like our fun little hangout video that we're doing and we hope to do more of these. All right, so you guys know me for the most part, but maybe Mo can tell us a little bit about what kind of photography you do. So I work with families. I work with a lot of female models, uh, not, not your necessarily your, your extreme boudoir, but I do uh, you know, go more to the- uh, The dark side? Relaxed side of <laughs> photography. Um, you could check out my stuff at Mo, Mora Mo Morales underscore photography. We'll link up. Uh, okay, in today's video, we're gonna bring to you little accessories that we use. Uh, cameras and lenses get all the play, but all the junky little things that are in our bag all the time usually don't get any mentions. You know, these are the kind of things that you know are, are vital to our day-to-day -day, or at one point were vital to our day-to-day, -day, but we may have outgrown but because you may not know about them, they might be something that you could find very useful. Uh, so Mo and I have been friends since fourth grade, so we're gonna, for the most part, just make each other crack up and stuff, so we apologize. There'll be a lot of cuts in this video. All right, so let's start. What are some of the, my favorite accessories, the oh, Fuji X? No, no, not, not this video, but. Oh, why don't you start? All right, so what, you know, first thing I realized uh, when I started my photography, I was, just, I was a flash photographer. I would take my flashes everywhere I went and, you know, I had some triggers and stuff like that. But then I, you know, got the little charger by EBL, which works for fast charging these. It works for these double A's. It works for my triple A's. Um, but definitely you, you can't be using a flash without recyclable batteries in this for day sure. and age. I mean, you gotta save the planet as well as save yourself some money. I've, I have not replaced this set in over a year, so think about how much money I've saved. I think I usually do 18 what's that, months. What's that charger Did that come with? It says EBL on it. No, it's an EBL charger. Um, I got it on Amazon. Your link in the description below. <laughs> All right, cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just bounce off you with that same thing. When I I always get these batteries, and the first thing I do when I get the the four batteries is I like them to live together forever. So I like to put when I grab those four, I'll take a marker and I'll put marks across those four. And, you know, because when I'm working at an event and I change batteries, a lot of times I'll throw them in a bag. There'll be like eight in there. So I like the four that came together so that I don't mix old ones and new ones. So, Good idea. so that's one suggestion. Good idea. So the, my accessory are these little yellow mothers. I don't know what they're called. They're thingies. <laughs> Power packs, and we'll link these up too, but I used to keep my batteries in the case that the batteries come in, which are these little, this is an EBL case. The problem is I never- buy the ghetto version, they don't come with the case. It's okay though, it's yeah. okay. Now, um, I used to keep them in this case, but I never knew if they were charged or not. So the great thing about these is I have my own little system. Basically, if the, cam if the batteries are charged, the little nipples will point down. <laughs> nipples. Yeah, <laughs> you said nipples. And then if I change them out during an event, I will flip them around. So if the nipples are pointing up, that means those do not grab those or try to put those in a flash. Number two! Number two! Sorry, my nose is running. Let's start over. Hold on. So sometimes, you know, so I can see what I'm doing as well as get a little behind the scenes stuff that I might put on a video later or, you know, capture on my Instagram stuff. I, I, I purchased this thing by Joby, which sits on top of my tripod, it's a tripod mount. And I actually sit my phone on here mm -hmm. and I set it to uh, record, or I set it for time-lapse. Either way, that way I can get my photos if I want stills, or I can get my video off of this if I want you know, some B-roll uh, using a high-end phone with at least a 4K video to match up with what I'm shooting with. Very cool, what's your phone so people know? So this one here is the Galaxy Note 8. Um, and it's, it's like less than 30 bucks. Cool, and Joby makes the gorilla pod and all that. The little grippy thing. Hold on, let me grab one of those. Hey, you see? Oh. <laughs> so Joby makes these little gorilla pod things and you know, I guess if you wanted to, does this mount on yes, here as does. well? Oh, cool. It does, I, I put it on a tripod mount, but it actually is designed to go with that one. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, so that's cool. So I use this too, I, I use this for kind of selfie-ish stuff, and, but that's great that you can video yourself. All right, my number two um, are these gels. Um, now, I used to use a, a lot of different, I gel my flashes. So since I shoot events, I gel my flashes orange to match the lighting in the room. 
And I've had kits like Rogue, for example, makes this beautiful, very organized gel kit, which I own as well. Um, but I am just so, I don't know about you, but like I'm so messy, like I'll grab something and throw it in a bag, right. like when the event's moving. And this has like, a, yeah, exactly. So this has like a beautiful filing system for, you know, where to put all the gels in. They never end up in, this, in the right place. And this also has like a rubber band system, which takes a long time to snap on. So Hano, the company Hano, this is not a Hano, but this, this is an Optech, they make the same thing. So if you have a flash, for example, uh, you can put this little Velcro strap on here and the Hano uh, kits, they just go on really quick with Velcro. Now there's a company called Magmod, you know mm, Magmod? Yes, Magmod. They, they do the same thing with magnets. I like their idea of quick on, you could take and throw in a bag. Um, so what I started doing was I started putting uh, little bits of Velcro on my flashes Great idea. because the strap started to become a pain. But I love the Hanel system of just putting a gel on with the Velcro like this quick and taking it off. And then I became so budget that I was buying Lee filters and putting, I was just making my own sort of Hanel grids on there. So those that don't know, what's a Lee filter? A leaf filter, they, uh, they make all kinds of different colors of these gels and they come in squares. So what I did was I cut and just glued some Velcro on there. And I even write the temperatures on them so I know what they are. Number three. Number three is the magic number three. All right, so this is where I show the lazy side of myself, okay? So <laughs> nine out of ten times when I'm shooting an event, I'll have my neck strap on for my camera because it's, it's, you're gonna, you, you don't have time to be dilly-dallying going back and forth. Totally. But if I'm shooting, um, also, portraits? if I'm shooting my own, you know, portraits or, or model shoots, I tend to want to be more relaxed with my strap. So I still have um, my classic Black Rapid, um, you know, as well as my Spider uh, holster. And my Spider holster is amazing because it, it just wraps around. God, it's you, so heavy. No, it's, you don't even notice it. it sits on your hip and you slide your camera right in and it locks it in, it's in, it's not going anywhere. And then if you're around a bunch of kids, it even has a locking mechanism here, so it will not slide out. kids steal your camera. Yeah, you never know, they're, they're agile, they're ninjas. <laughs> and then with this uh, holster on the uh, spider, it actually has the Black Rapid no clip way. on, right on there, Whoa. because it allows you- Are they you allowed to, to do that? That's cool. Like just today. So then I could just easily put it right around my, my shoulders. Oh, that's cool. As long as it gets around my big head, we're good. You know? That's great. It's, it's... I, I found that this, I, I've only bought the imitation ones of the spider holster. Um, I find the hip idea is great when I have my Fuji X-T20. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, what, what number am I now? Now three for or me. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> this is a great accessory. This is the Giotos, um, what do you call these? Like air blowers. Oh, air blowers. Okay, so these are great for blowing dust off your uh, camera lenses or any kind of gear or your like Captain America statue. Uh, so I use these all the time. They sell air spray uh, for like computers and stuff that's in a can, but really this is, and it's also a good workout, but durable. <laughs> I've had it for a bunch of years. The Giotos will link this up as, as well. Uh, to blow dust it's off Air your... Rocket, that's what it's called. Oh, cool, you remember it, yeah, Air Rocket. Air Rocket. Love this thing, yeah, use it all yeah, the time. Yeah. So this is number four for me, Quattro. <laughs> it's my little on-the-go tripod. It's, it's very light. Mi Foto? Mi Foto. Oh, yeah. Very light, folds up so small. If I don't need it, it's not a huge inconvenience to carry my Monfrotto around that weighs about a thousand pounds, even though it doesn't. It just feels like it does. But it opens up and it, it gives me about almost six feet in, in height, which is pretty good. Um, actually about five, five, five probably, uh, which is taller than me, I think. No, cool. Actually. But it's I, really quick, convenient setup. Um, you can't go wrong with having a tripod at all times because you never know when you're gonna need a steady I tripod. I will give a story. I have the same tripod. It broke on me. One of the legs broke on me, uh, but I had it in Costa Rica. Is, is this the mini mini, like the smallest one they make? Uh, no. They okay, because I have the one. mini mini. That's the one that one of the legs fell off it. But I had it in Costa Rica and I, I'm going to link up that picture right now. I'm going to put the picture up, but it was a waterfall picture that I only had like two minutes to uh, just take. And I had that little tripod and I was able to get some waterfall movement, which was cool. Okay, my number four is the Velo A autofocus extension tubes for Canon. Cuatro. I don't own a macro lens, but if you shoot a wedding or something, you're expected to do beautiful shots of the rings. 
And this guy is great because it allows your camera to the autofocus. If you have extension tubes that are dumb, uh, you have to manually focus everything. But these guys, the autofocus will still can like continue to work. And you can get some great ring shots just using these. And these guys are cheap. Great to have in your bag in a bind if you want to take a nice uh, macro shot. Uh, so this is an accessory that lives in my bag. I don't really do tons of macro, so this just sits in case. I don't have a macro either. I have this lovely 85 though. <laughs> Oh, we should mention that uh, Mo is a Nikon shooter yes. and I'm a Canon Fuji shooter, but you also shoot side. Fuji, right? I also shoot Fuji. I have the X100S. Uh, it's one of my favorite little cameras. Put it in my pocket and go. It's, it's amazing. It's not the, uh, what, what do you shoot with? The 20? The Fuji X-T20. <laughs> All right, so there you have it, guys. Little junky accessory video. Um, and what we, we hope you got something out of this, but uh, I love hanging out with Mo. He's my best friend. So we're going to try to do more of these videos every now and then. Uh, just us sitting around. We're going to do lunch today, so we decided to record. You know a big guy like me was going to eat sooner or later, right? <laughs> <laughs> but right, hey, just, just, listen, just, thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. On absolutely. your show right. here. Let's do our secret handshake. That I don't even know it's so secret. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, all right. We'll see you guys next time and hope you got something out of that. Peace. Hey, guys. Omar here with another video. <laughs> Back again with another video. It's your boy, Floss. <laughs> Major, major, <laughs> go. Our favorite, our favorite YouTuber is Flossie Carter. We'll link him up below. It's your boy Floss. Pluck him and file him. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Serious, serious. <laughs> no humming. A new kind of photography. Okay. You a montage of your wheezing. <laughs> This is not gonna work, man. We're just like having too much fun.